Hi, today I am thrilled to be able to talk about some new features with quizzes and especially quizzes AI. We're going to dive in to see how you can plan in seconds and not weekends with quizzes AI. So if you're not familiar with quizzes, uh, it is a teaching platform that really offers a lot for educators. And if you've taken a chance and you've gone into the quizzes platform, you can find some ready-made quizzes to use. You can explore the libraries and see what other educators have created. And you can also create your own quizzes lesson to use or an activity to use with your students in a matter of minutes. And so it doesn't take a ton of time to get started. And that's one of the best things about it is that there is something there within quizzes for everyone. And if you didn't know, this past fall, they had some new features come out and those are with the Quizzes AI. Now with Quizzes AI, what you can do with the AI enhancers, uh, several different things actually, and I will be doing a demo of those features for you. But just to give you a quick overview, let's say that you find a quiz from the library and you want to make sure that the grammar is correct or you want to add an answer explanation to one of the questions for example maybe translate these are just some of the options available to you with the power of artificial intelligence within quizzes and so it doesn't take much time at all for you to really dive in and to make some different changes based on the content that you're teaching the learners that you're supporting it helps you to really provide what they need, but also to, to save a lot of time in the process. So here is what it actually looks like when you log in. There is lots that you can do with the AI Enhance that, again, enables us to support every learner in our classroom and also to be creative because of some of the options available. So across the top, you can see you have some options like adding similar questions, checking those grammar or any spelling errors. Translation is a great feature, especially if we're looking at accessibility. And then on the bottom, they continue to add more to these. My favorites are uh, making it fun and adding some type of a theme to it. Also to make it a real world scenario. So you may find that you've created some of your own quizzes that you've used before, or you might find some examples in the library, but the questions are just very kind of plain. And you want the students to experience something that is more authentic and meaningful. And so taking those questions and using the AI Enhance to then convert them to a real world scenario. And my favorite example all the time is photosynthesis. And so I took one that had basic definitions and the components and things that are involved in the process of photosynthesis. But using that AI enhancer, it then made it more relevant and meaningful for students and brought it back to what they would see when they walked outside of their house, for example, and in the yard and talking about the sun. So a lot of things that you can really dive into and explore. And that's my best recommendation for you. So we have the AI enhance and now something also awesome are the accommodations that are available within quizzes. And for our students, we want to make sure that we can provide exactly what they need and giving students different options, uh, whether they have something set in place with a specific plan that we are following. We want to make sure that what we're providing is going to give them all the opportunities and everything that they need in order to have a successful learning experience. We have choices here. Uh, it can reduce different barriers when it comes to providing accommodations for students. In years prior, of course, we know that it took a lot of time to design different assessments or projects or whatever it is that we were providing for our students. But now with these accommodations and the new features, it really does enable educators to meet the needs of all of our learners. So as before, here is a quick overview of some of the things that you can do with these accommodation profiles. And this is a great thing to take an image of if you want to kind of just think through it. But going through the list, think about students that you have enabled some of these features, whether using technology or simply in the classroom. If you've walked over to a student and you read the question to them, 
or on a paper format, you've reduced the number of answer choices available to them. Maybe you have adjusted the font size or the font spacing, uh, lots of things that we can do in our classroom to accommodate for our students. Quizzes now makes it easier to do this in a way that doesn't take much time at all. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at what it looks like. So I'm already logged into my account. If you have never created an account with quizzes, that's the first thing that you want to do. And then when it opens, you have some things you can explore. You have create with quizzes AI, and you can scroll across the top, create quiz from your own content. If you've ever shown a video or you found a video in class and you think if only I had an activity to do to follow this, you can do that now. You can take that YouTube video link and upload the link and generate a quiz from that. Import some things from Google Slides or Google Docs, for example. You may have a custom prompt that you want to just generate a quiz based on any topic that you come up with. So you can start there, or you can go over on the left side to the Quizzes AI. And the layout looks a little bit different, but it's just specifically focused on how you do get started with Quizzes AI. Uh, there is a Chrome extension, and I will mention that you can also choose to become Quizzes AI Certified Educators, which will take you through the process of learning how to use all of the different features so that you're more productive and efficient and you really understand all that's available. So these are just some of the new features, but let's take a look at the accommodations. Now with this, I have different classes and some of which I've just created for demonstration purposes, but let's say that on any given day, I decide that I'm going to use quizzes in my class, whether for a live lesson or to give something for students to do asynchronously. And I have a lot of options available here. So I'm going to go ahead and pretend that I am teaching about photosynthesis in one of my classes. So the window that opens up, I can choose to enable or I could turn off that enable accommodations. And if you're doing this for the first time, you can also click the what's this and you get the pop-up window on the side that will take you through what the different accommodations are. But if you wanna know and you're curious, go ahead and just click that enable accommodations. Before you do that, you could also enhance the questions that are available here and add more questions to it, of course, because right now it only has five questions. But if we're looking at accommodations, I will click start now and then I have different classes to choose from. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my STEAM course that I made up, made up the date, made up the students. And as you can see, I already have three groups, one student in each group, but in a larger class size, when it happens that some of your students have the same accommodations that have been set, they are then placed into different groups. You can change the name of those groups. You can always edit the students that are listed on that roster, for example. But right now I'm looking at group mint and I can see for the student, Annie Hoffman, that I have chosen to give her a redemption question, the read aloud, the dyslexia font and not show the leaderboard. So there are four accommodations as are listed here. Now, if I want to add anything else to it, I simply choose something different. Maybe I want to choose Spanish and any other things that I want. But let's say that I want to edit the roster and I want to remove her from that group. Perhaps she doesn't need the redemption questions anymore. Uh, she wants to see the leaderboard. Any of those different things could be possible. So I have Annie open here. So I'm going to check Annie and I get the options again. So this time I'm going to decide to give the read aloud option potentially, or I might choose the bilingual dictionary. Uh, but let's go with the dyslexia font. I will choose medium for the font size. I'm going to change the spacing, which you can see the different options. And then I am not gonna turn on the leaderboard for her. And I'm also going to turn off the sound effects. So those are my four options. I will hit save changes. And now Annie is a member of group gold, but maybe I'm going to change her to group purple. Uh, I will hit save for that. Now I have my three groups of students. And so I'm ready. You can also choose to skip this step for now, but I'll hit continue. And again, this is all what I would be doing on my own device before projecting it onto 
the board, whether you have a Promethean or whatever you're using to project in your classroom. And on the right side, I can see exactly that I have this quiz, which class it's assigned to, the different accommodations that I've set up, the students and what they're going to be getting, and that's pretty much it. And I can toggle between all of those options as well, but I will just hit start. So once I hit start, this is when I would turn on whatever I'm projecting the game onto, and students will then see what they always see how to join the quiz, the code, you have the URL. You can also share it in these other options. So if I click on this, students enjoy scanning this. You can set it to auto start your quiz. But the best thing about this is that all of the students within your classroom won't know who may or may not actually have an accommodation that has been made for them. And once you start the game, they work through the game, the number of questions, the period of time, anything that you are that you have set for them. So you can do this in this space like this, or you can also set a quiz for them to do asynchronously and still have the accommodations. And the last thing that I'll say about this is that once you have set up those specific accommodations for students within a class, they remain, it is saved. So you don't have to do that every single time. The only thing that you would need to do would be to update them. So perhaps later on you decide that a certain student does not need to have the question read aloud to them or the font or the redemption questions, for example. So you can always change those features throughout. And again, you can also opt to not enable accommodations for one of the different quizzes that you are doing. So I hope that you will enjoy testing out some of these new functionalities. And if you have questions, don't hesitate reaching out to the quizzes team to find out more and also think about joining in that quizzes AI certified educator experience. Thanks for listening and enjoy building with quizzes.